Hey, what's up guys? It's Brian here, Brian's Law Maintenance. All right, hey, check it out. I wanna do a video for you guys talking about the 10 year challenge. A lot of you guys have seen it uh, go around on Instagram. And I think it's kind of a cool uh, tag or hashtag and uh, just kind of a trend right now. And a lot of folks uh, have never seen my Brian's Law Maintenance 1.0 setup. I found some old photos in the archives. They're pretty cringe. It's gonna be pretty fun as well though. Uh, so I wanted to share those guys uh, with you. It's gonna be my 10 year challenge of my Brian's Law Maintenance rig and setup and business and I got some awesome stories that I want to share with you guys and hopefully give you guys a little bit of encouragement and just maybe a little inspiration. So let's check it out. Make, make, make the ground shake. All right guys, so if you're new to my channel, I'm all about helping you guys grow a more successful lawn care landscaping business. Right now, I wanted to share with you guys, like I said earlier, the 10 year challenge. Now, let's put a little bit of context to this whole uh, story and uh, challenge because a lot of you guys that have been with me have seen the red truck, the trailer with the wrap, uh, you saw the mowers that I have, the aerator, all this other jazz, right? And the YouTube channel in the last 12 months has blown up, it's been crazy, honestly. Now, if you've been with me for 18 months to maybe two years on YouTube while I've been making videos for the last two or three years, uh, you might have saw my old red F-150 and my old utility trailer, my six and a half by 12, and that was Brian's Law Maintenance 2.0. Now, believe it or not, there was a whole setup in rig way before all that. I was so ahead of my time. Uh, I'm just kidding, it's gonna be really good. I got some photos that I'm gonna show with you guys, but I wanted to talk to you guys about my Brian's Law Maintenance 1.0 setup and how I got started in business. In fact, what happened was my older brother, who is into wedding and event photography, found some vintage photos that he had saved on an old hard drive. And so I'm gonna share those with you guys right here because uh, it takes it back, man. It took me back to the way humble beginnings. When I got started, when I was eight, 10, 12, years old, like a lot of you guys cutting grasses, like the little neighborhood boy, right? Uh, my very first lawnmower was a old like MTD three and a half horsepower lawnmower, right? Uh, talk about humble beginnings, like a 10 year old kid just hustling out there. And there's a lot of you guys that watch. Uh, I think the only people that have uh, more nine year olds watching their channel besides me is PewDiePie. So make sure you guys subscribe to PewDiePie. Anyway, just having fun. Uh, but I think I'm number two. So my very first mower was a three and a half horsepower uh, MTD, just the family lawnmower more man I beat that thing to a pulp with uh, doll blades and doing the whole deal cutting grass pushing it like with one hand on top and the other one in the middle you know pushing it through eight inch tall grass uh, I think that's where my um, uh, love for not having bi-weekly customers started it wasn't two years ago when I was pruning my business and trying to figure out my route density right it was when I was 10 years old and everybody in the trailer park always left their grass eight inches tall fast forward about probably three years, I had saved enough money to buy a brand new, literally like the cat's meow, the state of the art, five and a half horsepower. It was a green lawnmower. I forget the brand. I really wish I remember the brand. I got it at the Big K Super uh, Supermart, the Big K Mart, whatever you guys want to call it, Super K, right? So I had this other mower. It was a five and a half horsepower mower. Uh, I think I had a uh, just an old little rickety uh, handheld blower. I don't even know what I had. And at best, I had a SRM 225 Echo stick uh, trimmer, uh, straight shaft trimmer uh, from Home Depot, right? Okay, so let's fast forward a few years later. Uh, by the way, if you guys don't know my story, like you can go on uh, Julio with Lawn Care Business Success podcast. I think it's episode 89. We did like a two hour uh, shakedown of my whole story and kind of how we got where we're at today. So when I was about 13, 14 years old, 15 years old, I was a neighborhood kid, man, cutting grass and steroids. I had a tractor, I had a wagon. I wish I had all these photos, but I don't have them of this. Um, and then what happened is I got a car and I was 16 and I would take my green mower and tool around my trailer park cutting grass. Um, if anybody ever has a photo of me, send it to me, okay? Because somebody out there has to have a photo. And you guys gotta remember too, this is back in 2000, I don't know, man, 2000, like 1998, I don't know. We didn't have cameras and camera phones and flip phones on this mess, right? Uh, it's just crazy how far the world's come in the last 12, 15 years, right? So what happened was at 16, 17, 18 years old, uh, I go to work for Little Caesars Corporation because you're supposed to get a good job, right? And get a big boy job and cutting grass and being your own boss. I just didn't grow up learning that kind of stuff. So what happened was I went through that whole mill, uh, went from Little Caesars, went to True Green, then I decided I wanted to start my own lawn care company, right? 
Um, I was so excited to cut grass, it wasn't even funny. Here's how I came up with my setup, and here's the photos that I got for you guys. So, my old setup, my Brian's Law Maintenance 1.0 setup, it's kind of cringe, right? Ready? It was a, uh, I think a 2002 Dodge Durango uh, SXT. What engine is that? Like a five liter, a 4.8, 5.2. Uh, it had about 60 to 70,000 miles on it. Uh, I also had a uh, utility trailer from Tractor Supply Company, one of the little five by eight mesh, uh, you know, open floor, mesh floor kind of trailers, right? Uh, it was crazy, man. And so where did the, uh, before the F-150, where did the Durango come from? Well, my younger brother was at Michigan State, and I don't know if it's like a law or a rule, but you can't have a vehicle like on campus. You can only have bikes, right? Uh, this is before he got an apartment with all of his, you know, bros. And it was just funny because the Dodge Durango was sitting in the driveway for three and four months at a time. Well, I had my Hyundai, my little white car. I couldn't uh, go buy a truck, so I thought I was just gonna use his Dodge Durango. Well, I'm in business, man. I got a truck. Now I got to get a mower. So what am I going to get? Let's take it. This is so crazy how these kind of videos can help you guys out. My thought process was I'm going to buy an X Mark Quest. I can't even believe I'm saying this out loud. I'm going to buy an X Mark Quest lawnmower, which is like the lowest residential, maybe commercial mower that X Mark made. I was going to buy it at Weingarts. And my theory, my thought process, my business plan was I was going to drive that X Mark Quest into the back of the, Do the Dodge Durango hatch. I don't even know what ramps I was going to use, right? And <laughs> I, I was like, that was my game plan. I was going to drive my mower into my brother's Durango and shuttle around town. So anyway, I tell this whole scheme to wine guards, right? And uh, I had a sales guy, a couple guys before who I have now, Ted. Let you guys know Ted at the Farmington location. And he was like, uh-huh, okay. So what you really probably need is a 48-inch Viking walk behind. I couldn't afford a zero turn. I was just getting in the business. I actually financed it on a line of credit. And uh, I bought a 48 inch hydrostatic uh, walk behind uh, Xmark Viking lawnmower. Uh, gosh, back then the horsepower was 14, 15 horsepower, maybe. Um, that was an amazing lawnmower. I, I uh, don't have a bunch of photos from it, but that mower, I probably put about 500 hours on it. That was the coolest thing ever. Now, you also gotta remember full circle though, I have the Dodge Durango. So before I could hook up a trailer to pull the mower, I was like, no problem, I'll go buy a trailer. I go to the back side of the Dodge Durango and realize, it doesn't even have a trailer hitch. It doesn't even have a hitch to a receiver for the for the the drop. So I go onto whatever it was, hiddenhitch.com or whatever, and I buy one of those hitch uh, receiver kits and I install it on the Dodge Durango. Now you gotta remember, I'm 20 years old. I came from Little Caesars and Pizza. Uh, I was a video game nerd before that. I know nothing about, I'm not mechanically inclined. I know nothing about any of this crap. So I install the hidden hitch, do the whole deal. I buy the trailer. I realize you have to register it. I realize that you have to get it plated. Uh, I put a piece of plywood as a new floor just because I knew the mesh over time would probably sag and bow. Uh, so that was my first setup. I had no trailer racks. I had nothing like that, okay? It was as bare bones as you can get. So let's talk about my first hand tools, okay? Uh, and these are photos I just grabbed off the internet and uh, they're kind of close. But my very first trimmer was an uh, Echo SRM 225. Either I had it or it's the first one I bought from Home Depot. Like that was to me the pinnacle of OPE, okay? I didn't know there was an Echo 2620. I didn't know there was a steel FS94R, okay? So that was my go-to trimmer, okay? Now, for the blower and edger, it's so crazy to see how this comes full circle. You guys are gonna love this. My very first blower and edger I bought from Sears. They were Craftsman. They were opened, return itemed, open box, return itemed, clearance, edger, and blower. The backpack blower was probably like, 100 miles per hour and like 200 CFM. It was the most tiny babyest thing. There's probably less than 100 bucks. The edger I bought from Craftsman was a combi tool and it was gas and that was my first edger. It was a piece of junk, okay? They were both returned. I later found out that the blower was halfway decent but all the straps had like ripped off. So I don't know what I did. I probably attached bungee cords, right? And then the edger, the clutch of some capacity was fused together. So as soon as I started it, it would always run. They were both 
Uh, and it's not putting a dig on Craftsman because um, it's funny, if you talk about Full Circle, 10 years later, your boy here is helping revitalize the brand as a product review ambassador. A lot of that stuff's coming in the spring. Dude, the new Craftsman is so BA. I don't care what anybody says. It's freaking sweet. So anyway, talk about Full Circle 10 years later. Now I'm helping bring back Craftsman, okay? My very first edger, trimmer, blower. Talk about humble beginnings, man. So. You guys can see on the trailer, I built walls and shelving around it all to help protect from the mud. Uh, that Dodge Durango got about four miles to the gallon. It was a running joke, like you couldn't keep the fuel tank full. It just, we're at the gas station and the needle was fighting to even make any progress because as fast as you pumped it in, it would already drain it out because it was a big V8. Like, anybody know the uh, the leader on that? It's got to be like a five liter engine. It's completely unnecessary, okay? So then, how did I buy the truck? And I'll wrap up with this. What happens was, one day I was working at True Green. I went to the um, Bill Brown Ford dealer. I knew the exact truck I wanted. I located this red four-door Super Crew hard uh, tunnel cover, fiberglass tunnel cover truck. And I think it was 10 grand back then. And I ended up buying it on my lunch break. I actually went to, uh, I picked the route that day. It was in Livonia, Michigan. Uh, on my lunch break, I probably took an hour and a half lunch break. Sorry, True Green. Uh, I bought a truck on my lunch break. I walked in there, I said, this is the exact truck I want, how much? I think it was 10 grand back then. I said, sounds good. Didn't even know, didn't even know if I had two by four, four by four, 4.6 liter V8, five, four V8. I had the baby, four, six. I bought it on my lunch break. I said, this is the exact truck you want, I want. I'm gonna buy it, I'm gonna pick it up later tonight or the next day. Uh, back then, probably my mom drove me to, uh, to pick it up, right? And it was crazy, man, because I was just signing papers, I didn't care. I was ready to rock and roll with Brian's Law Maintenance with my first truck, and eventually we ended up selling that Durango because it was a piece of junk. Uh, so anyway, that's how I bought my first truck, man. It was the uh, fly by the seat of my pants kind of thing. You know, here I am in like full PPE, rubber boots, pants, long sleeve shirts, the whole deal worked for True Green. I got my little green Kemlon hat. I looked adorable. And uh, I bought a, a, a truck on my lunch break. And man, I was I was ready to do this thing. That is the, the full circle. At my first show, MGIA, my first lawn care trade show, that's where I met my marketing people, Perfect Impressions in Farmington. And that's where I also met Kelly and Sons trailer. And that's when I, uh, uh, networked with SureTrack to buy my first utility trailer. That five by eight, that ship had sent sale. I think I sold it to some random dude off Craigslist for like 300 bucks, <laughs> which was just really sketchy. Uh, I remember exactly the transaction was really, really awkward. But then I bought that six and a half by 12 utility trailer and that lasted me about four or five years until we upgraded into the trailer you guys have today. So that's my 10 year challenge. It was uh, four years for Brian's Law Maintenance 1.0, about probably another five years for Brian's Law Maintenance 2.0, which is kind of when we started doing YouTube, which is crazy. So why do I tell you guys to do YouTube and Instagram and all this fun stuff is to get rich and make millions of dollars? No, it's to document your life because it's the craziest stuff that can happen in a short amount of time. So. Just to give you guys some inspiration, it wasn't always the big you know, baller truck and the big baller trailer. I had my humble beginnings, man. Craftsman uh, equipment that just was returned, open box and clearance. I had the 48 uh, inch Viking walk behind, which was a great mower. That's why I still believe in the Turf Tracer, by the way. Uh, it's a sister unit, but the Turf Tracer is a great staple unit for Xmark. And that was my humble beginnings. So anyway, that's my 10 year challenge. You know what? The crazy thing is how fast 10 years went by. We're 12 years into our lawn care landscaping business, and what I can't wait to see is the next 10 years. So that's my fun story for you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. What do you think about Brian's Law Maintenance 1.0? Are you guys starting with humble beginnings? Let me know. Leave me a comment down below, and hey, hang tight. Stay with it. Keep moving forward. Hopefully my setup 10 years later gives you some inspiration to what you can do for yourself, or even if you want to do something different, at least it gives you guys some motivation that if I can do it, you guys can do it. So, all right, over and out. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it. We'll catch you guys on the next one.